Hey, it's Roy over here making a quick video about my new uh, Raspberry Pi 3. Uh, everybody's going nuts using this with the Retro Pi. So I'll do the same, but some people are um, installing this Raspberry Pi inside the systems. You know, they're doing crazy stuff. It's, it's, it's crazy, amazing the time they do it, and uh, I love what they do. I enjoy those videos. Um, but as you can see, I have a Super Famicom. Send it to me by a very good friend, Luis Sayas from Okinawa. Uh, and I have uh, the original Nintendo, given to me by uh, my best friend, Ramon. Um, I have an emotional attachment to these consoles, so I won't be opening them and screwing this. I want to leave in the original state. So uh, what I did was, I found another way. Now, you can add the Raspberry Pi straight to your HDMI or TV, but I want to go a step further. I want to be able to listen to everything through my house surround sound system. So what did I do? I used my Xbox One. Now my Xbox One have an extra port in the back for a um, satellite. It's an extra, extra HDMI port. So I plug my Raspberry Pi to the extra port and this is what we got. So that's my uh, Xbox One. It's my Xbox One controller. So I go to the, what is called the, the one guide option. Once you go to one guy, you're going to be able to see whatever is on your extra HDMI. Therefore, everything is there, goes to your surround sound. So as you can see, that's my RetroPie. And uh, the other portion was how to connect a controller to that. So this is what I do, or what I did. Uh, let me get this little cable over here. I found the drivers for the Xbox One. And PlayStation 4 online to use with the with the RetroPie. So after installing the drivers, plug this in. Once you plug it in, RetroPie will recognize that I installed the controller. I don't have to do nothing else but plug it in, and will work with RetroPie. So quick test run. Let me see what going. Um, let me see what. Let me try Nintendo 64. So the heavy, heavy games. Usually, uh, are pretty hard to uh, um, make it work because of the 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 very demanding in graphic. So let's see. Yet again, another awesome game that you have to save. It's me, Mario! The whore, Peach, I mean, um, Princess Tosu. I know! Jesus, that's loud. Wish granted. So, press uh, start. Uh, select there. And it's running pretty good. Hey, Mario. He's coming to the castle. And once you're done playing games, uh, you don't want to play uh, any more games, just simply unplug the cable from the Xbox One controller and it goes back to Xbox One configuration. Plain and simple. There you go. Now we need beer, Ramon and all my friends and let's play. <laughs> bye bye.